Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're returning. So today I just wanted to drop a quick Berberine update video. So I've been on Berberine for about a month and I'm going to keep it a buck with you. It is not a magic weight loss pill. So over the month I've lost about three to five pounds and I'm only saying three to five pounds because I am on my cycle so we know the scale is going to be a little high, right? Anyway, I perceive that to be water weight. The reason being is because for about three days, I developed some muscle cramps. I had started incorporating fasting. Let's rewind. Let's rewind. I had stopped fasting to do berberine because the videos that I was watching, a lot of people were saying, you know, take it 30 minutes before you eat. And so if I'm taking it 30 minutes before I eat, then that means if I'm fasting, I'm not really being able to take it much, right? So... I did a little more research to see if I'm able to take it while fasting, and aha, I was, okay? Again, I'm somebody who was able to take berberine with no um, symptoms, per se. So, it actually didn't bother me taking it on an empty stomach. But for some other people who may be taking other medications or who has side effects from it, maybe this doesn't work for you. So I took the past, I'll say, two weeks or so to tweak a few things. Um, I would always suggest your first month to maybe try something for a week or two and maybe tweak things um, according to what works for you. Maybe take it an hour before you eat instead of 30 minutes before you eat. Maybe incorporate fasting. Um, maybe incorporate removing some carbs. You know, it's a whole lot of things that you can do to kind of tweak your diet, your workouts, and so on to get the best result from berberine. So berberine, of course, is not a weight loss pill. It is a pill who, who aids in keeping your blood sugar low, essentially. So, hi, my name is Ebony. I am a sugar addict. And because of this, I had to get back to fasting. So again, this is when I did my research and realized, okay, I can take it while I fast. Again, I have no side effects, so I take it in the morning, um, even though I'm fasting, and keep it moving, right? One of the apps I use while I'm fasting, I used to use Zero, but now I use Fastic. And the reason I use Fastic is because it's based on a point system, but it also allows me to track so many other things. So it allows me to track my water and I'll get points for it. It allows me to track my steps, my meals. Now it doesn't do calorie for calorie for calorie meal. Maybe you got to buy the plan in order to do that. But it allows me to put in my meals, you know, whether it was a small, medium, or large size meal, whether it was something healthy or not. It do does it based on like green, yellow, red. Or whatever and you select that and then it gives you points based on that um you log your sleep you log your five minutes of mindfulness always always fit in five or ten minutes to meditate in the morning or before you go to bed um you can log your weight your workouts and some healthy habits that it gives you right so i love this app for that mainly because i also struggle with getting my water intake in so this kind of helps me keep track of trying to hit a goal for my water every day as well as my fasting hours as well as my steps right um also so for three days i think i told you guys i started when i first started fasting again i did get cramps i got cramps in my legs i got cramps in my ribs um again i I've never gotten cramps just fasting, and I didn't get cramps just on berberine. So I think it was kind of a combination of the two. After I up my water intake, I no longer had issues with the cramps, right? It's been a slow weight loss, um, but weight loss is slow most of the time anyway, right? It hasn't necessarily, it's supposed to, it's been known to. Help with blood pressure. I haven't seen a change in my blood pressure as of yet, right? One thing I did notice is if I stopped taking berberine for like a day or so, 
it did feel like I needed to get my body back acclimated to it again. So be consistent with taking your pill on a consistent basis, whether it be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think the um, average or most suggested is 500 milligrams three times a day, right? So breakfast, lunch, and dinner would be the easiest way to do that. I do notice when I'm taking berberine, I have much more energy, which is so important, especially when you're a single mom of three kids with so much to do. You know what I'm saying? So I do, at minimum, enjoy that aspect. The other bonus is my bowels are frequent every morning my bowels are frequent and that wasn't something that I had experienced prior to so I enjoy that aspect of it my appetite has been reduced I fast 16 8 but I can actually probably go 20 most days right um, reduce bloating again bloating has been um, to a minimum right now I'm on my cycle so I am bloated uh, it didn't help with the that time of the month, not this cycle. Again, I don't know two months from now, well, a month from now being two months on berberine, whether my body has taken um, to it a little bit more that maybe I won't have it during that time of the month, but I still have bloating during that time of the month. But the, res the rest of the month, I'm not bloating. Um... And yeah, that is sums it up, you guys. I, again, I, I, I'm enjoying being on it. I don't have side effects, so I don't have to worry about that aspect of it. I'm enjoying being regular um, every month, I mean, every morning. And I am enjoying having more energy. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to now incorporate, I'm going to continue my fasting. I just introduced the fasting in about a week a week and a half ago. I'm going to continue my fasting and then I'm going to incorporate some light workouts and we will see what the next month looks like. But thank you guys for watching. Until next time, love yourself, protect your energy, and deal with life's bullshit with grace and gratitude. Bye. <laughs>